<laughs> but just you and your wife yeah. as like a date thing to see again Transformers Rise of the Beasts uh-huh. which are the gorilla the gorilla and dinosaur version of Transformers yeah that just Optimus like, Primal dude that seems a very childish and odd thing for a married adult couple to be doing and Cheetor she, yeah, shout out to Cheetor, the, <laughs> Cheetor. the Cheetah Transformer. Oh, the Cheetah Transformer. Do you guys just have nothing else going on? Hi, what, Bort, what's going on? Right. This is I, coming from Seabass, uh, right? The guy yeah. who like follows people around for their shopping carts, <laughs> pulls he, bug well, pranks on Greg. As good of a yeah. rebuttal as that is, it still doesn't address <laughs> my also, point. Seabass, like, what movies do you watch? Don't didn't you like, say you watched Spider Verse? Yeah. I would say like the last well the last movie I went to was a uh, Jackass movie but that was but that was not, oh! with, that was oh. not with a girl that I was dating much less my wife uh, yeah. So I, what? You can only see movies like that if you don't have a chick in tow. You know what I'm saying, Greg? I would say yeah. Yeah. No yeah, chicks, bro. I like I said, the like Notebook Two is not out yet. So the the point nothing. being that Transformer, the the prime demo for that is teenage boys, not adult married people. That's that. I don't think that's arguable. Do you have the same. You have the same take on the Marvel or DC or well, I would say Marvel those other and, types of movies. Yeah, it says everything I'm into is for children. Well, that's yeah. but that's more mainstream. Uh, I, it that's, is Transformers is not still, mainstream. It's still the same. Transformers demo. definitely it, skews way more yeah. younger male yeah. than does. It the was average. all adults in my movie theater. Yeah. yeah, no, not anymore. Not when you take it to the Michael Bay <laughs> level of what they did with it. It's still in that same demographic of people that would watch Marvel movies, yeah. DC movies. Yeah, yeah it's all, all the same. That stuff. It's all the same. Yeah, I would say a Transformers movie before I'd see half the Marvel movies. Well, I agree. I, I don't go to the theaters for Marvel movies anymore because it's all the same thing, wash, rinse, repeat. But that being said, they do kind of, they have a, because they have a lot of female leads and, you know, the whole Wonder Woman thing. Like, they they definitely have broadened their appeal. But you cannot tell me that Transformers is not for teenage boys. Well, I mean, I think because, like, I remember Transformers from when I was a kid. Right. Right. And so mm-hmm. it's, it's just kind of been yeah, a thing. Yeah, that's why it was a lot of older yeah. people in the because they have okay. nostalgia really, yeah. for it. Yeah, like Pokemon was after my childhood. Okay, yeah. so like I was never into Pokemon as a kid. I would go to that. But I could, I, okay, I can see <laughs> like somebody who grew up with Pokemon or whatever, seeing that as an adult, something from their childhood that has carried through. Right. Yeah. You know, and um, it's not an animated movie. You know, what it's difference a, it's does another, that make? Well, no, I guess I'm saying like like yeah, you go see Trolls or you go see like a lot of the animated stuff that's clearly for kids. Like even like a Super Mario Brothers Seems to be more. Oh, what you're talking about? That uh, is I had date night solid. for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, bored as a big yep. Transformers movie. I know that you are not a big fan of the movies, but um, this one it seems to be getting a lot more praise. Yeah. I from what say- I've seen, I mean, I'm on, mm-hmm. on the outside looking in. I'm not as deep into, you know, this kind of stuff as you are, but. Yeah, I would say ever since they kind of splintered off from, again, Michael Bay and they did the Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee was ravely positive reviews. Like, it was possibly the best Transformers movie they ever did. The action yeah. was great. Everything was awesome. And they've kind of followed suit with this. Instead of trying to make this epic blockbuster movie with bad acting, they decided, what if we just make a fun Transformers movie? Mm. Let's just, like, completely go into the nostalgia, just f- Giant fighting robots beating the crap out of each other. Not just the 80s ones. Let's bring in the 90s animals Transformers too, and just have them all beat the crap out of each other. And yeah, from everything I've seen, everyone says this is a really, really fun movie. Will you see it? Yeah. Okay. Like in the theater? Oh, well. Because you don't want to bring your wife. With your wife? As an adult. Well, see, it's Mm -hmm. hard to get my wife to go to any movie. But um, no, I I would get my wife to go to it. That's like saying I wouldn't take my wife to go see Star Wars, which, by the way, every Star Wars movie was designed for um, Ravy. What was the age range George Lucas had in mind? Uh... Mm, teenage uh, boys. Teenage boys. That's right. <laughs> that was Except, a massive mm-hmm. number. But like, I'm looking at uh, the. La- it's hard to find breakdowns without paying for them. But like the Transformers: Darks of the Moon, the largest chunk of audience, 32 percent, was under the age of 18. So no yes. one's denying this. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. well, first off, you are denying this. That was this whole bringing board thing in. Is it's for everybody of all? Oh, no. Now no. I was more curious to see if he yeah. saw it because I knew he had the stance against. Uh, but if Some somebody of old, out of that movie. age range goes, it's odd. You should be embarrassed. I thought you loved Joe Rogan, right? I thought you were a big fan of Joe Rogan. I never he, said that on the podcast one said, time or on the air, I should say. He says this whole age thing for anything to you like you can't be a certain age for anything is the dumbest argument ever. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, there's certain yeah, things way that to go, think, but yeah, yeah, but that's and I, I know that's a very popular thing to say these days, but it's, it's I'm not saying it should be illegal. I'm just saying that was an odd choice. For yeah, a day like, and that's how I feel about your argument. Like I feel like this is an odd choice because I wouldn't have thought twice uh, seeing adults going into yeah. the Transformers movie. I mean, it's like, the seventh one. Yeah. 
Like if it's a if bunch of adults. Liked them, if you've liked one through six, <laughs> why wouldn't you go to the seventh one? Like maybe you, you're older now and you matured and you realize it's stupid. That's why. Like if it's like well, a bunch of adults <laughs> going into like the Trolls movie. <laughs> Like that, that might be a little bit different. Without a, the without very a last without scene kids. twist or, in this movie is crazy. There's a twist, Seabass. Oh, wow. It yeah. sets You're up like, the what, eighth. What happens to Don't or? spoil it. I'm mm -hmm. not going to spoil it, but it's like, whoa. Just remember, yeah. guys, this is way too immature for everybody, but if you want to be in your mid-40s and go to Jackass and relive your early teens, come on, let's go. Yeah. See, yeah. then that's cool. That's yeah, that's, that's rad. Yeah. Uh, not in my mid-40s, number mm -hmm. one. And number two. Oh, sorry, oh, 50s. Oh, sorry, 50, <laughs> early 50s. 50s. Hilarious. <laughs> and number two, yeah, it's been, it's been around for 20 years. And the, well, that's what I just said rules. about Transformers. But the point being is that they have, gr they have changed and developed. Yeah, they've transformed. <laughs> yeah. And brought in new people. Obviously, Johnny Knoxville went great. And all that stuff. Yeah, he's all gray Plus, now. Plus, it highly yeah. relates to what I do for a living. So that's that makes perfect sense. And, yeah. I, did, and again, I didn't bring a wife or date. Well, man, it turns into yeah. different beings with his wife. Uh, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. They so like, Roblox. But yeah. we're supposed to be aware of what's going on in pop culture. So but this is the biggest this movie out there. Yeah. Versus not, that was not what he went for. And again, uh, I think. can talk about it. No, yeah. A couple things. Uh, number one, let's also keep in mind that he mm. watched the Flaming Hot Cheetos movie. Oh, yes. Menace. Okay. Talking about so pop culture. He's not real yes. discerning one way or the other. Well, yeah, he's very dumb. Watch that. Okay. And then the other thing I'm pretty sure that Menace is allergic to his house. He just likes to be out. So, oh, like, yeah. be outside. But, but the there's anything he could do to not be at home. The Flaming Hot Cheetos movie was a Hulu. Whether it's the Transformers Hulu and Disney Plus, yeah, or anything else like driving 40 miles out of the way to get like chicken tenders at right. one place that you can go anywhere and get chicken tenders. Yeah, he'll do that. Sure. I support. So this. his free time stuff is you know questionable sometimes. But I don't I don't get the the Transformers thing. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you're going to see with your wife? Uh, no. Exactly. I mean. But I, I don't really go to a ton of but movies anyway. But have you anyway. seen one through six? <laughs> no, I haven't yeah. seen one through six. Well, there six you either. go. I've seen yeah. zero. I don't feel like we came to like a real good uh, conclusion no, on I feel that like one. I brought yeah. evidence. You guys brought, but yes. what? No, I kind of feel like evidence. it's just one of those we'll have to agree, you disagree. Nothing. But yeah. um, the numbers. It's okay. <laughs>